Tubes, and this is Classic Rock. Hi, I'm Jack Blades. I'm Jeff Watson. From, from Night, Night Ranger. Ranger. And this is Classic Rock. What up, dudes?
So we filmed this video. A friend of mine was going to, to UCLA Film School. So on a weekend, we checked out all the gear um, um, for the video, Don't Tell Me, Love Me. So we did this video for $10,000. I mean, and, and that was an unheard of sum then. And MTV was this like fledging little thing. And at that point, it was such a beginning of it, they didn't have a lot of videos. So we gave them our video. And consequently, you know, they played it every 20 minutes. <laughs> That's right. It was like us and Duran Duran, you know, Hungry Like a Wolf and Don't Tell Me You Love Me. And they played this thing nonstop. Don't tell me you love me. Don't tell me you love me. Don't tell me I know all I know. We were a, a hitherto unknown band. And after all of a sudden, Don't Tell Me You Love Me, everybody's like going, hey, don't tell me you love me. And, and you know, kids are, everybody's walking up to us and we're just going, wow, this is wild. How do these people know where, who we are in, in, you know, Duluth, Minnesota, you know? And, and it was just crazy. And suddenly it was like, wow. Duluth? Minnesota. Wasn't it Minnesota? The Tubes will be up next on Classic Rock, so stick around. I'm here to see the Tubes tonight. After 20 years, I finally got to see them about six months ago. I got this shirt off a of fee, paid them 20 bucks for it, had to pay for it. Got the band to sign it. They're one of my favorite bands. I can't wait to see them again. I came here tonight because I'm a Tubes fan. Don't fall in love. If you do, you find out she don't love you. Yeah, I wrote She's a Beauty, and uh, She's a Beauty is about uh, hookers. Basically, there was a booth in San Francisco in the Tenderloin, and there's like a kiosk kind of thing. And in the booth is a girl, right? And there's you have to put, and, and the, it's like the, there's a, a wall, and you put a dollar in the thing, the wall comes up, and the girl starts disrobing. And she just gets to about where you're about to see some actual flesh, and the thing comes back down. Then she the wants wall. a 20. <laughs> and then you got to put another dollar in. And then she starts over again. And, she, and I'm going, well, no, we don't start over. Anyway, is there a deeper meaning to the song besides that? Or is there uh, beyond that? Is there a deeper meaning? Uh, no.
our dog sandwich picked out the name the tubes. The assignment was everybody had to write a whole list of names on a piece Comic of paper. Office. The first incarnation of it was tubes, rods, and bulbs, which are parts of the eyeball. And we thought, oh, that's, we're visual. We wanted something to relate to our visualness. And it also kind of had a television connotation. Boob tube, fallopian tubes. It had so many different kind of connotations, but they all seemed to fit. We put all the names in the hat and we let our dog pick the name out. The, the name with the tubes, we smeared mayonnaise on, and Sandwich picked out that one. Hi, we're the, the tubes. tubes, and we'll be right back with more great hits on classic rock. So, don't go away. We came here tonight to see Night Ranger! And Night Ranger rocks! I like Night Ranger personally because they're great songwriters. I've been watching Jack Blades for years, and they're just totally awesome. My brother died of a drug overdose um, many, many years ago. And it was funny because I never had, you know, uh, you know, I never had a chance to say goodbye. And so I think that song, for me, and when I heard the music, you know, one morning I just woke up and I was, I remember I was sitting in my bedroom, and I just woke up in the morning and just, just, just flew, 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 flew. And 20 minutes later I went, man, that says what I felt. The grief that I went through and the song, which was a healing for me, in a lot of ways, for other people, um, they're going through grief, and it's a healing for them also. As the sun hides its hair, for under the night's rest And the wind sings its same old song And you on the edge Never close, never far Always there when I need a friend But it's hard living life On this memory go round Always up, always down Spinning round Just dream so it seemed I was never much good at goodbye There once was a time never far from my mind On the beach on the 4th of July I remember the sand How you held out your hand And we took for what seemed a lifetime But it's hard Leaving all this Behind me now Like a schoolboy So lost Never found him till now And all this Could be such a dream So it seemed I was never Much good at Goodbye So long Go round, always up, always down, spinning round and round and round. And all oh, this could be such a dream, so oh, it seemed I was never much good at goodbye. And all oh, this could be such a dream, so oh, it seemed I was never much good. At goodbye, goodbye, so long.
Thank you. Hi, I'm Jack Blades. I'm Jeff Watson from, from Night, Night Ranger. Ranger. And Classic Rock will continue from the Wild Horse when we return. Woohoo! Tonight we came here to see the tubes. I drove 250 miles a night to see the tubes. Talk to you later. Uh, people think we're so ra wacky, but it, we really write songs about relationships and about people. I mean, and this is just about a girl that talks too much, basically, what it comes down to. Somebody you met in the bar who just never shut up. And just, you know, at 6 o'clock in the morning, she's still talking. And you still have all your clothes on. You're going, oh, man, please, why? 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 Why, Demi, why you do this to me? And uh, so that's all. It's it's not really very deep that song. It's re we wrote it really quickly, and and it just kind of clicked. Everybody dug it, and so we just nailed it. Hey, we'll talk to you later, okay? Again. Bye. 
favorite album cover? Well, Prairie does all the, Prairie and Mike did all of our album covers. The remote control album cover I thought was one of the coolest concepts because it was about the TV baby and it has a picture of the baby and a chair that we actually built, like a car seat that had one of those round TV sets on it. It looked like a boob tube, put a nipple on it. And the baby that we used was the son of our manager, then manager, is about an eight month old, nine month old boy, really cute looking blonde boy. The, the boy, we haven't seen him since then, and no, he came to our at, show. Uh, the other, Gloria Hills. I'm just yeah. going to say that. I was interrupted, but he just, he came, to, <laughs> came to see us the other night, and he's 22 years old. Right. Still sucking on that TV, though. Vinyl to CD, I think, was in, in a lot of ways, it kind of ended that great era of amazing artwork from the, you know, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And oh, I liked Midnight Madness. Midnight Madness. I like Midnight sure. Madness because we just got a bunch of our insane, crazy, freaked out friends and all of us and went on to the um, um, Universal, Universal yeah. um, lot into New York Street, what they called, and we just took, went to the wardrobe department and said, anybody pick whatever you want, wear some wild thing. And it was just a blast, and we just filmed it like two or three in the morning, just drinking beers and just having a wild time, and everybody going crazy. It was so much fun. So much so that when we got the cover, it was too chaotic, and they're all worried that it's like too crazy and everything like that. So they so, put our big pictures. So yeah, they put our big the pictures, the big, you know, five of us all, like, you know, big mugs stuck on the right thing, and we're like, Oh no, you really but on the back side you see people all over the thing. It was it was pretty funny. That was that was really one of my one favorites. Of Let's do something off the um, off the Midnight Madness CD. Y'all might remember this one. Yeah. Bye. 
Hi, we're, we're the, the tubes, tubes, and this is Classic Rock, and we will continue from the Wild Horse Saloon in just a moment. I'm here tonight to see the tubes. I brought a ticket stub from 1976, which the last time they were here in Nashville, uh, Fee Weibel was nice enough to autograph for me. The tubes! We do have two rituals that we never fail to perform before each show. One ritual is drinking shots of tequila. But then the most important ritual is a warm-up ritual, a vocal warm-up ritual called Ming Mongs that David Foster taught us, a guy who produced a couple of albums for us back in the 80s. And that is a vocal exercise. Who taught it to him? Ella Fitzgerald. I was about to get to that before I was so rudely interrupted. You know, I just <laughs> never get a word in this one. <laughs> And we do that before every, and we start real low on a low F sharp, and we work way up in fifths. Ming, mong, ming, mong, my, my, uh, the ming, mong, ming, mong, my, uh, ming, mong, ming, my. We work all the way up the scale until we go to the very highest note, like a high C, the highest note we can sing. I'm Jack Blades. I'm Jeff Watson from, from Night, Night Ranger. Ranger. And we'll be right back with some more great hits on classic rock. So don't go away. We came here to see Night Ranger tonight. I have a huge crush on Jack Blades, bass player for Night Ranger. Had it for about 20 years, still have it, probably always will. And so I just came here tonight to see Jack. Night Ranger songs are definitely a classic to me because I, I grew up listening to them. I saw them in concert in seventh grade and I have all their tapes and I wore them out. 
My, my favorite Night Ranger song is Sister Christian, uh, primarily because it's a very good song, and I learned more about it every single time I, I heard it on the radio. It was just a very intriguing song. It's a very smart song. Sister Christian, the song written by Kelly Kagi. Our drummer. Our drummer, wrote and, and sang it, and he wrote it about his sister. And didn't it used to be called Sister Christy? His sister is, her name is Christy. Yeah. And so Kelly was singing the songs like, Sister Christy all the time. And we all thought he was saying Sister Christian. We're going, man, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, that's really great. That's attitude, you know. And, and then one day he wrote down the lyrics, and we're looking at these lyrics, and he goes, Sister Christy. And we're like, who's Christy? What? Who's Christy? What's this? Well, my sister Christian. We're like, oh, man, that's Sister Christian. He goes, well, that's not my sister's name. We changed it to Sister Christian. And, um, you know, and then it just took off and became this, our huge big hit in um, our second album. We're in Rochester, Minnesota, and we're, we're the, the ladies were going through the, the food line. The, the, the Coliseum was like sold out, and, you know, Sister Christian was flying on the charts. And, and the lady behind the thing is feeding us. She says, Is that about a nun who sells dope to school kids? And Kelly and I look at each other and we go, Yes, ma'am, it certainly it's... is. That's exactly what it is about. And down we, and we're like, <gasps> We're like looking at you. <laughs> Where do these people get these ideas? It's about Kelly's sister looking to meet people, looking to meet men, and just getting on with her life and coming to grips with her teenage years. And motoring, which is the chorus, motoring. And uh, it is really, there, she lived in a small town in Oregon. So every Friday and Saturday night, everyone would get in the cars and drive up and down this one uh, strip. Cruise, you know, man, and they, they cruise, cruise yeah, yeah, they cruise. And what they called it was motoring. Sister Christian, know oh, the time has come And you know that you're the only one to say Okay Where you go and what you're looking for You know those boys don't want to With you I'm not gonna play now. It's true. Now you wanna sing along with us? Come on! Mama's worrying that you won't last to say Let's play Sister Christian, there's so much in life Don't you give it up before your time is due I think it's true, and I know it's true, baby
Motoring 